Hi, it is Friday and I uh, bought all these balloons. I want to surprise Emma and Mason when they get here, when they get home from the bus. I thought it would be a really cool idea to surprise them with a few different kinds of balloons that I picked up earlier. Right here, we have a princess balloon. A pink heart balloon. Emma loves pink. And then, of course, she also still loves Minnie Mouse. And we have this balloon. This is my favorite. <laughs> Emma loves all the colors. And this one says, you are the best. Guess what? Mason and Emma, they are the best, of course. Um, and so is their brother. Uh, but he gets off in a different kind of bus, so. And this is the last balloon. It is a flower. So I can't wait to walk over at the bus stop and pick them up. Let's go, come on, help me out. I am so excited. This is so fun. Emma loves surprises and this is going to be cool. What do you guys think? What should I say to her? Surprise! What would be the, the best, woo, if I don't get attacked by the balloons. What would be the best thing to say to her? I bet Mason will be surprised as well, so let's take a look. We're almost there. I'm just gonna have to take the elevator real quick. And I'm doing this, I love doing these little surprises because it makes their day. And it is Friday. It's been a long, busy week at school. So I think this will make their day and their week. So let's go. Come on. We're about two minutes away from the bus. Okay. <gasps> Hello. Happy Surprise. Happy birthday, Emma. <laughs> it's a happy Friday. Way up there. There he goes. Oh, it's so close. Oh, you got it. You got it. Yes. We got the balloons back. Thank God to the guy. He picked it up. Okay, now we can't let go. Let's take you back to our house. Nope, you can't. We can't let go. All right, you think we can back, take them back into our house? Can we get them back before we, before we let go or something? I love yours. That's a really cool balloon. Oh, don't let go. Get back. Hurry up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Hello. Where'd it go? That's a big one. <laughs> I love it. By the way, I love your skirt. That is so cool. Christmassy. Okay, Emma. We should do a race that um, we kind of see which balloon can run faster. Should we do it? Should we do it? Go! <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Your balloon is stuck with mine. So they're all, it's a tie. It's a tie, Nobody balloon. nobody's balloon won. Oops. Okay, so you saw Emma just get off the bus. I tried to surprise her with the balloons and then of course you could see she wasn't really herself. So I knew something was wrong but I didn't really know what happened. So we got into the building, I gave her the balloons 
and as we're transferring the balloons you saw they escaped our hands and they went way up into the ceiling which we couldn't reach of course after a few minutes we did manage to find the maintenance um, maintenance guy and he somehow reached um, with some tools that extend and whatever they're called I have no idea but he was able to get the balloons down but then we find out that Emma has been having an ear pain for a few hours so of course we are now just parked outside of the famous place called the urgent care stay tuned we'll find out if she has an ear infection or what's going on with that ear we'll be back mm -hmm. so we finally we just saw the doctor and what did she say you have what what do you have uh. oh, you're just being silly <laughs> we have a uh, ear infection so Emma has to take what is that called Emma <laughs> we have to take some um, antibiotics, which is amoxicillin. And apparently we just heard that there's so many kids sick that they're out. Um, so we're gonna have to go from place to place trying to find out who has it and what we can do about this ear infection. So hopefully your kiddos aren't getting sick so you don't have to deal with what we're going through. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Back to... What are you doing? Just sit still. <laughs> All right, we're gonna head home, but we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>